You're right, buddy. Have you smelled some sausage rolls? <laughs> what do you want? Do you want sausage rolls? Oh, I should probably use the movie slate that I got for Christmas. Hang on. Ollie, do you want a big director? Chef Spud, sausage rolls, 1A, take one, mark. <laughs> Love it! <laughs> Hi guys, Chef Spud back again with another cooking video. I put a picture on my Instagram last week of some sausage rolls. Got loads of messages going, all oh, they look amazing. So I thought I'd do a quick video on showing you how easy it is to make your own sausage rolls at home. Let's go. For this recipe, you will need puff pastry. Ready rolled is super easy. If you've bought a big block of frozen puff pastry, you've got to roll it out. And I think we did that in the cheese straws video. So if you want, if you bought a big block of it, go and have a look at that video. Link in the description. Sausages, you can use sausage meat or use sausages just because it's easy. Big shout out to Barnum Trading Post, mega sausages. And then whatever you want to put in your sausages if you want to get a little bit creative. You can just have them plain, but we always like to mix it up a little bit. So you can have cranberry sauce, that is mega. Bramley apple, also good. Branston pickle, not too much because otherwise it can be a little bit overpowering, but it's good. Chipotle, I had to Google that because I always say it wrong. Chipotle chili pickle, what? I was saying it wrong. What did I say? You said Chipotle. Chipotle, Chipotle. Oh my God. I don't know, I said it wrong anyway. Chipotle. Chipotle. <laughs> and someone also said Marmite, so we're gonna have some Marmite. That's not actual Marmite, this is Morrison's Marmite, but it's the same thing. Maybe for cheese and Marmite. Hmm. So, let's get started. Pop this out, chuck that over in there. First of all, we'll roll this out. Top tip, pizza cutter if you've got it. Cut this into three. And there and there. So, also if you use sausage meat, you've got to portion it up. I will just use sausages. And not everywhere does sausage meat, so I just buy sausages. Right, so I'll just put these in the middle of each one, as you can see. Just give them a little squeeze, and we can fit the thing for the pastry. So this is where we're gonna start getting creative. We're gonna do one with cranberry, one with applesauce, because they went down really well, and a new one, one with Marmite, for my buddy Wayne, who suggested that. So Wayne, this is for you. So there you go, I'll just put it down the side. There you go, that's that one. Next one, a bit of applesauce. How mad do you wanna go with your applesauce, up to you. And last but not least. Oh, that's really strong. It is really strong, Marmite. It's running up bottom. And it looks like chocolate sauce. Oh, that's going to be mega. If you're a Marmite lover, slick spoon. Whoa, that was a mistake. Right, at this point, we're going to roll it up. So, I always do the side that's got the fill in over the top. Go quick, but it's not, make sure it's not sticking to the baking paper. Go. And then just continue to roll each one all the way over. Right, now what I do is so I separate them out. So I cut, cut the baking paper that it comes on in half and then I can have one on each tray. I'll see you some sharper scissors and it won't look as rubbish as that. Now what I do slice them up. So I tend to cut it in the middle and then I'm going to chop that into three. Mind your fingers. Get an adult to help you if you need to. You're so funny. Oh, no. Right, at this point we're going to turn our oven on. I normally cook everything at 180 degrees but I'm going to do these at 160 just because my worry is that always the pastry is cooked but the sausage meat inside hasn't quite cooked yet. So we're going to do 160 degrees. And then the other thing that I do is just do a couple of slits on the top of each one. When they cook, they expand. Plus, it looks super cool. Right, extra Gordon Ramsay bonus points. I said that last time. I know, I do it every time. Brushed egg. Way too much. Brushed egg on the top. Yeah, I haven't that first one. Which helps it brown. And it's also going to help the seasoning to stick to it in a second. Now, my go to Italian style seasoning. Lovely. Right, now the trick is getting all this on the baking tray without them all falling off. Oh, here we go. 
Then, once they're on out, I'll spread them out. Right, now into the oven for about 20, 25 minutes, or until, is that as long as I go in for? I don't actually know. I don't know, you just made up this recipe. I did, I didn't make it You up. did this last time with the chips. Yeah, I know, last month. How long do I put these in for? About 20 minutes? We'll put them in for about 20 minutes, check them after 20 minutes. If they need a bit longer, they haven't gone golden brown on top, then leave them in for a bit longer. So yeah, see you in about 20 minutes and fade to black. So while your sausage rolls are cooking, perfect time to have a cup of tea. And today I'm having a cup of tea in this control and shift mug. Lovelyly, lovelyly, modelled by myself, that's not even worse. Available from control and shift, link in the description. Right, let's see how they're getting on. Oh, steamy. There she goes. Oh, we've had a couple of casualties and they're looking all right. Oh, yes. Hello. Let's, let's pick a good one. This one's for Instagram. This one's for the outtakes. Right, so let them cool. You don't want to leave them on here because they're, they're going to get a soggy bottom and Mary Berry doesn't like a soggy bottom. So we're going to hook them out and put them on cooling rack. There we go, we're going to let these cool down a minute. It's a shame you can't smell these because these smell absolutely mega. It's making me super hungry. No, it's not big enough already. No comments. So we're going to come back to these once they've cooled down and uh, see what they taste like. Right, now they've cooled down a bit, we're gonna have a taste. And I'm gonna start off with the Marmite ones because I honestly haven't tried these yet. Is it really strong? It's actually not, it's actually the perfect amount of Marmite. I thought it was gonna be really overpowering, but it's actually really, really subtle. Mmm, you want? No, I already told you. What about the dog? The dog was on for the other off. Let's get the dogs a verdict. Right. Oh. Hello. Got a sausage roll. Hello. Got a sausage roll. Sit. Oh. oh. No, he's going to go and dig it now. He's going to go and. <laughs> he always does that. He's taking that off and eating it in his bed, I don't know. But yeah, uh, thanks ever so much for watching. Go and make your own sausage rolls. Honestly, super, super easy. And uh, like, subscribe, share, all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. And scene. Cut, check the gate, that's a wrap. Seriously. <laughs> Ow! That was my leg, Dad. Oh, sorry. Except you're, you like, you, I need to be like higher because okay. your chin. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is. Chef Spud sausage rolls. Oh no, I didn't have it. I have to iPad. Oh, you're right, Wally, aren't you? Correct. On the bacon tray without them all falling off. I can try. I can try. I can try. <laughs>